Okay, this is Dr. Krause. I've had several students, uh, three actually total so far, ask me questions about problems they're having with cherry pie, and so I assume that this is kind of tricky, and other people might have these same questions. So this is my attempt to try to answer these questions. Um, two different problems that I've seen so far. One is if you have a file named cherrypie.py, that is going to cause, like you just were trying to learn something and you just named that as your first learning file or whatever, that is going to cause import problems because if that's in your current folder or anywhere on your Python path, then Python will try to import that instead of actually importing the cherry pie module, which will lead to all kinds of problems. So rename that to cherry pie one or cherry pie underscore learn or getting started with cherry pie or something um, so that that's not the problem. The other issue is related to the very old version that comes if you do sudo app get install python cherry pie. Do not install cherry pie this way. This version is simply way too old to be used with most online tutorials. Um, so one of the things you'll note is if you um, try to run some of the codes, if you've gone on um, and, and found the Python or the Cherry Pie tutorials on the internet, or you for you know cloned my GitHub repository, then for example, I'm trying to run tutorial or toot one underscore config, and the main symptom is I'm getting this message. Attribute module object attribute error module object has no attribute quick start. So that is bad. And so the the way to debug this is to start either IPython or NumPy. Now if you if you haven't done it yet, NumPy by itself isn't gonna work unless you've defined the alias in your .bash RC file as I have uh, suggested in earlier videos in the class. So if you're here and you type numpy, and then you try to do an import cherry pie, and then you ask for the cherry pie underscore underscore version, and you'll notice, um, let me quickly change my preferences to be ridiculous for the sake of making it easy on the video. Um, so I'm getting a version that starts with 2.3, and that is really, really old. The current version, I think, is 6. Um, I think most of the online tutorials assume that you at least have version 5. And so that's bad. We need to uninstall that. Um, and so there are a couple options. The probably cleanest way is to do sudo apt get remove python cherry pie. Now this assumes that you did, in fact, install it using... Um, apt get the first time. If that wasn't how you installed it, you just happen to have a really old version, then that might not work. Um, so a slightly more, I don't know if it's better or worse, um, but a complete way to do it would be to come, sorry, back into NumPy, import cherry pie again. And this was is just kind of good debugging anytime you've had weird behaviors um, from a module is to reload it and say where is it coming from. So this is being reloaded from slash user slash lib slash pi module slash python 2.7 slash and then cherry pie underscore underscore init is where it's getting it from. So this folder should be deleted and then you won't be able to import cherry pie anymore. And this looks like the standard folder for all python modules. So I'm gonna close this I'm going to open up a new folder, no particular reason, and I'm going to say cd slash user slash lib slash pi modules python 2.7. And so I'm going to say sudo rm cherry pie. Uh, and it says, hey, that's a directory, are you sure? And I'm going to say yes, negative rf, get rid of that thing. And so one way I could prove to myself that I had successfully uninstalled it is if I went back into IPython and I said import, and now it comes back and says no module named Cherry Pie. So I no longer have a Python module named Cherry Pie, and I'm now ready to sudo pip install Cherry Pie. That is the sudo pip install Cherry Pie is the correct way to install the Cherry Pie module. Hmm. 
and it's saying that it's already there, even though it's not. That's frustrating. Okay, so I am gonna say dash dash upgrade. Um, so there must have been something, well, let me check one thing first. So if I did cd user lib pi modules, Python 2.7 user lib python modules python 2.7 okay ls minus alh cherry star and it says i don't know what you're talking about so pip and i are having a little bit of a disagreement <laughs> maybe i need to also do app git remove cherry pi it says it oh yeah python dash cherry pie and I can't spell this is just turning into a comedy of errors which are generally not funny okay so I'm gonna do that um Okay, well at any rate, I'm gonna do sudo pip install Pyth or cherry pie dash dash upgrade and force it to install. It probably shouldn't have to be forced now that I did the sudo app get remove. And you'll notice that it's downloading cherry pie dash 6.0.2. So that should be my new version when this gets correctly installed. So sudo pip install cherry pie or possibly sudo pip install cherry pie dash dash upgrade. Now, if I come back over here and say import cherry pie, it finds it. If I just out of curiosity said reload cherry pie, um, now that's interesting. So pip put it in a different folder, still kind of an official looking folder, but it's different. And then if I said cherry pie dot underscore underscore version, I now get a 6.0.2, which is quite a bit bigger than 2.3. And if I come back over here, and I say python two one config.py, it acts like it's running. And so if I were to ask myself, what is my IP address? I'm looking at 192.1.74. And so if I went to 192.168.1.74 colon 8080, I should see hello world which is terribly fascinating. And specifically, hello world 0.0.0.0, because that's how I have that configured. And so this is the IP, or sorry, this is Chrome running, or my browser running on my Mac. And this is Cherry Pie being served, or serving a website on the Raspberry Pi. And so all is good. Alrighty, let me know if you have questions.